Have alive. you heard that new Drake song where he's like, "Oh, all you girls want to be micromanaged." <laughs> yeah, in the beginning, what to do. he said, "I got a schedule. Yeah, I don't got snappy, time for." Hey, bro. shout out to Drake, snappy, man, because he's speaking some motherfucking facts on that. Bro. Hey, look, he also dis X in the same song. Did you see that? He what? X X X Tentacion. Oh yeah, I saw you. Him? I saw you put that on your story. <laughs> yeah, he Yo, dissed me. He said, uh, "Put fifty racks on the." What did he say? He, yeah, put fifty racks on his head. Um, for trying to. Damn, I'm gonna find it right quick. Yeah, he said yeah. my dog would do it for Louis Bell. That <laughs> yeah. is all he he know, did say know, that. Know, look, know, look, yeah. but this is the say. This is what he said today, right? So he drops a song, "Slime You Out with SZA." The shit's going crazy right now, and I'm listening to it because I'm like, "Yo, this motherfucker's a banger." And I don't know where the last like verse he says, "Uh, get a nigga hit for fifty racks, girl. The beef costs like it's wagyu. Get a nigga hit, I'll make his ass see the light like a half moon." That's fifty racks. Right there. 50 racks is what he died with. Like yeah, that. Moonlight. And moon, yeah, moonlight. And, and, and moonlight. yeah, get him hit. I'll make his ass see the light like a half moon. Moonlight. You feel me? You put two and two together. It's like, bro, it's too much. And then all the lines that added up to it, there's a, there's a whole, he has so many records where he's talking about shit yes. that would relate to it. It's like, I heard that shit today. I'm like, nah, bro, Why this X again. That? I don't know. He's wild, bro, but I do think he got X killed. Dang, I, bro, I'm so cold, I, do, bro. I do believe he got mob ties. I do, yeah, I do too. I think when you have a certain amount of money and a certain amount of but connections would, and shit, but why like, would he want to kill X? Like, why? Because he was. That's the he first stole person. His flow. He didn't need his clout. Yeah, he, Drake, needed Kodak. Drake stole Migos flow. Nah, but look, if you look at the situation, right when they started beefing, yeah, isn't it crazy? This is the imagine. What if we did this in like eighteen twenty two? And it's yeah. like, oh, Beethoven, he stole, <laughs> yeah, Beethoven, he stole the song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny as fuck. <laughs> It's like this is where we live right now. Imagine the future. Oh, whoa. Imagine yeah, the future. Nah, we're true, like, we're true. Yo, Cybertron 88. It's <laughs> well, crazy because they couldn't even have podcasts back then. I would imagine what podcasts would sound like. But I'm sure there's transcripts. In, in the, uh, the uh, theater. <laughs> the, in the, the, in the amphitheater. The amphitheater. <laughs> Could you believe he's deaf and he makes such great music? That's what William Shakespeare was. He was the first podcaster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the OG Joe Rogan. <laughs> were you going to say Ashley? I forgot what we were even talking about. She's like in her own world. 